Cool. All right. Mafia one. <sighs> Dog. <clears throat> I hate that they give you enough time to actually read that. There we go. It's so cold. All right. So Don Morello just called us out to the park. Turns out there's a bird here this time. Uh, <laughs> our organization has a rat, and apparently. It's Frank, and he he is gone, his family's gone, and the books that have all of our dealings are gone. So, Mer Salieri thinks he's going to Morello. Tough day today, Tom. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got your clean set of wheels, and something special here, if you want it. Frank sees a Lapara, he'll know. The old ways work. Oh. Whatever it takes, Tom. Dumb detective. Fifteen cents? See? False advertising already. This car? This sweet little number right here. And now for the latest news. The Navy is today continuing its search for the remains of those brave souls lost aboard the airship USS Akron. The Akron was destroyed in a violent thunderstorm off the New Jersey coast Tuesday morning with the loss of 73 of 76 aboard. The disaster stands as the worst aviation accident on record. Yesterday, one of the survivors, Lieutenant Commander Herbert B. Wiley, spoke to members of the press and gave a brief account of the tragedy. He also spoke of the survivors' rescue by the German tanker, Phoebus. President Roosevelt has described the loss of the Akron as a national... Damn. Topical. <laughs> you good, buddy? Ooh, he don't look good. No Pauly this time. Tommy, what's the rumpus? Oh, there we go. Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Uh, depends. <laughs> what's it worth to you? 20 bucks. How about 40? All right, spill. The FBI is in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the black cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Fun little Tony. Always a pleasure, Tommy. That's how we do things. Didn't need to slam his head on the counter five times. We got the money. Welcome to a WLA Sports Report. There's a sense of anticipation as we await the start of the big game. Our very own Lost Heaven Lancers are out on the road, deep in enemy territory as they take on bitter rivals, the Empire Bay Cannons. This year's Gold Series is shaping up to be one of the best on record, with both teams matching one another blow for blow. Despite the Cannons' home field advantage and an early lead in the series, the Lancers have bounced back and have really taken their rivals to task. Many of the plaudits and column inches have been dedicated to one man. Lancers pitcher Funny Smith is one of this year's stand-up performers. And with this series tied at 3-3, three to three, he may well be the key man that brings the Wisman Trophy back to lost heaven. But doing so will be no easy task, as standing in his way is opposition captain Foghorn, Jack Seidel. This is probably my favorite car to drive so far. Victory was 
I think the balance of speed and handling is very nice. Alright. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'll do some bullshit. Some ridiculous turns here. Alright, but. I can't believe Frank's doing this. You know, to be fair, if you shot my dog, I'd be a little upset too. Everything okay? Go get him, boys. Hey, Tom. Nah. Nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Councilor Gilatis brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom, what's going on? Terror Tales. Damn, 1 out of 20? Alright, maybe it was wrong about these collectibles. Are they really just anywhere? Oh yeah, there's one. Maybe that's a car. I don't know. Get into a car, buddy. We got the nicest thing around. Wish it was blue. Now to the coverage of Game Seven of the Gold oh. Series, and by the looks of it, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be underway any minute now. The crowd here in the armory are restless. You can almost taste the tension as we approach this, the deciding game between these two famous rivals. More than a little bad blood between them, and more than a couple of nasty flare-ups in recent years. Of course, this occasion, more than any other, could prove feisty. What with the drama that closed out the previous game. That, of course, saw the Lancers win to tie the series, and it's not often Empire Bay and Lost Heaven can boast the game's best current hitter and pitcher, respectively. I refer, of course, to Foghorn Seidel, a man mountain with a shock of red hair, and Lancer star, Bunny Smith. Speaking of Smith, he is jogging, I suppose you'd say, between his teammates, issuing last-minute orders. They seem responsive to whatever he's saying. He commands respect from his team, that is for sure. My goodness, there must be some nerves among some of the younger Lancers. Elms, Graves, and Oh, Elms. see, what's this guy doing? Them up. That's good it's not see. just That's me. What a good captain does. The cannons line up is meandering over to the Shut up, buddy. You're going too slow. You're going under the limit. Too far away from the opening pitch here at the armory, the home of the Empire Bay Cannons. Stay with us for more. Damn, bro. With music programming and up to the minute news, this is WLH, Lost Heaven Radio. A job well done to I failed at swearing again. Materials that aren't going to let you down. Salieri's and gonna be very upset. To be of the highest quality and right. best price locally. Or fixtures Whatever. We gotta see what Frank is doing with Morello and the FBI. It's not looking good for us. Ooh, that's a nice one. Where is this place, bro? Does that me drive across? Oh, dude, I hope we don't have to kill Frank. <laughs> I hope Frank's doing some double cross big brain stuff. I don't know, I guess he's been around the longest. He knows everything that goes down. Here we go. Looks like the place. Frankie. 
I hate to those account books, Frank. I hate follow missions. Could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire Bay Cannons. A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach for a Swift. It's not only a taste sensation, it's guaranteed to increase focus, drive, and mental clarity. Pick guaranteed. up a bottle of Swift Cola today. And as we are coming to a close, let me thank today's other sponsors, Big Break Cigarettes and Lost Heaven Courier. Both oh my gosh, there are stop signs. Golden eras. Each yeah, team has a star to. player at the core with promising youngsters set around them. I refer Why does this dude speed walking into me? The cannons have had several such golden periods. The Lancers, it's fair to say, have not. I can see Lancers manager Frankie Hodge prowling in front of the dugout, gesticulating. He seems animated to say the least. Looks like he's putting one of the officials in his place or something or other. With the noise of the crowd, it is quite hard to say for sure. Whatever's going on down there, you can feel the sense of occasion. Don't talk and to me. Just know that whatever happens, the crowd will be the first to tell you what has happened. The Lancers are now within minutes of snatching the gold series, which at one stage had appeared doomed. But they equally teeter on the edge of defeat. It all comes down to the final play. Oh, okay. Nobody is warming up in the bullpen. Shut up. Nobody down there is considering the possibility of extra innings. Bunny Smith then standing on the mound, a look Gotta of feeling determination kind of on his face. He's betraying no emotion, doesn't look nervous or Thanks tired that, after his exertions this series. Nor does he appear to be carrying the weight of expectation. He's having a word with the umpire about something or other. What a strapping fellow. 6'2", 195 pounds. If the Lancers are to win here today, he's going to write himself. In yeah, really, really came to a full stop there, pal. What mean to the people of Lost Heaven after such a long time without glory on the diamond? Right, whatever. All right, they've sorted out whatever was going on. Here we go then. Into the cannons, it's Patty Doherty. Smith is pitching the game of his life, but Doherty's a big man. If he can catch one, it could run, and with bases loaded, the cannons would have it. Here we go. Doherty facing down Smith. Pass ball and strike. The big man thought he had it. Some speed on that ball. My goodness. It's fair to say ah, Doherty shit. looked a little spooked. They he taking you to the airport, he Frank. Had it. His body language tells the tale. Smith remains cool under pressure. Not a flicker of emotion on his face. He winds up. And that's two. There was zip on that one. Good luck. Yeah, I'm sure they're not going to notice us. Uh, we're the we only no two cars here. out here. All right, I stand corrected. And that's only making Seidel more irate. This is it, folks. Another strike, and the Lancers win. If Doherty can get that one, doesn't it, count. The cannons will get all their men home and snatch that guy might. victory. A swing and a miss, and that's the winners. Lancers win. Lancers win. And Smith finally cracks an elated smile. He's thrown his cap in the air, as have his teammates. Lancers win. I didn't think they were going to pull through, I'll be honest. My money was not on Lost Heaven for that one. Oh. It's, it's my fault you guys stopped so abruptly. If I would have lost right there, dude. Very upsetting. Especially because I think it's just going to end at this gate. Yep. They're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. I don't even have a pistol. I only have the double barrel, the sawed off. I guess we shouldn't just go through the front door, huh? I am partial to going around the side. <laughs> Perfect. Like clockwork, baby. Why'd the feds take charge here? I guess we all 
want the same thing. Uh, shut down the airport. The informant leaves. They get the books when he does. Is there another person there? No, we're just gonna go right out here. Hello, hasn't the honor to even show his face for a rat like you? Nah. Get in the car. Oh my god, Frank. I didn't want to think you were actually dealing with Morello. Whoa. Just trying to get some fast Molotovs. No no need. No need for static, hey buddy. Alright, left hasn't failed yet. I think we can go through the building. Grenades. Holy shit. Holy cow. Ugh. You know what? Ooh, good timing. Yeah, I guess he's over. Oh, there was a guy next to him, huh? Let's not let's not make this a big thing, guys. He's right here. I wish we could jump in the window. Oh, this guy. Make my day, pal. Games be like stealth. Oh my god, dude, why'd you have to do that to yourself? Oh, now we're going. Oh god. Always the bleeding and the dying. Alright, we gotta go in the front door, so we're gonna have to deal with some of these gentlemen. Die. <laughs> At least he had shells. Who is shooting me? Oh, I'm dead. Alright. Alright, we messed up. You died. Ugh. Tommy's just too fragile. That's the problem. Where am I? Oh, God. Come on. I guess I could have thrown a molly. Use that as a distraction. Yeah, there's nobody here. I guess we just wait for him to go to the side, and then we just take the inside guy. See, you know, that third guy wasn't on my map last time. I just want to point that out. Grenade. There's an ammo box there. Oh, wait, I think there's also a collectible on it. Oh, is it in here? Alright, whatever. Let's go. It was an easy mission. This is over. Whole city's ours. Dude sounds like a Joker villain. Like a Batman. Alright, so what's the situation out here? Oh, wow. Easy money. Oh, 
clean. Alright, Frank. Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Oh, she looks just Morello sincere. offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over, yet? I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morella was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Like two of them. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on, march. Alice, get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March. For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. You been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Tommy. God damn you, Frank. I didn't have a gun, well, a good gun, for the big open field shootout. That's my excuse. Good afternoon, sir. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. If I had the, um, the pistol too, we would have been fine. Beautiful day, huh? Uh-huh. Nice bank. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. Okay, guy, calm down. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me. <sighs> Frank. <laughs> Frank always knows. I hate games where your walk speed is faster than the follow speed. Like, Red Dead 2 is good with the follow, or like set speed. Like, come on. I 
got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Safe house. It's Don Morello. You're making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's a hell of a thing. We lied to the Don twice now. First about Michelle and now about Frank. Tommy is a softie in a business that is not made for soft people. Kind people. Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Merle let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is... He's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. Well, what kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. Is that him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. Si, ho capisco. Tommy. If you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di... di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Pi favori. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll imagine he said the driver. Alright. Telling you, I gotta start learning Italian. Get on that piano. Uh, I don't speak Italian. Excellente. <laughs> oh, wow, roundabout. Ah, uh, fantastic. Uh, no plan? Yeah, the boss told me. Ah, uh, please. Uh, um, understand. Entriamo dal labirinto senza farci sentire né vedere. La casaforte è dietro un dipinto al primo piano. 
dammi un po' di tempo e lascia fare tutto a me. Quella cassaforte avrà sicuramente un allarme. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be a long night for the both of us. Ah, Cristo Santo. <laughs> I guess that is what it would sound like when... Okay, my turn. Do what I do. Do not get caught. See, si. You gotta keep safe. Safe? Si. Uh, it's um, uh, my job. Apro Casa Forte. Open safe. Christ. Okay. Radio. Let's listen to the radio. Excelente. No, but yeah, that's definitely what it sounds like when people don't understand English and you just go... <laughs> you say it's slower, like that's gonna make any difference. Universal. A volte questo paese è estupendo. Thanks, buddy. See, this is the American dream. I want a wall so people leave me alone. <laughs> nice neighborhood. We got people walking at night. Supposed to park there, huh? I thought the um, quest marker was gonna update. We'll have to leave anyway, so you know, might as well park this way. Ecco, entriamo da lì. Labirinto. What? Vedrai. Oh, a maze. Sì, un labirinto. Stay here while I take out the guards. A quanto pare in America. I'm a simple man. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine he said, I love the maze. Sure wish I could have a night off. Which way are you facing, pal? <clears throat> Gotta have your guys walk in pairs, man. Unless you're in Assassin's Creed, then it's gotta be trios. Otherwise, kinda, kinda done for. Really, do I have to go all the way around to get to this guy? Buddy, mind your own business. Well, I don't know if you'll get paid for tonight, but it's kind of a night off. If I mess up a little bit, it could be forever off. Alright, it's the golden question. When does he turn around? Let me get... <laughs> I got a little antsy. Do I have a heavy weapon? No. What, I imagine there's one on each side. wasn't on the mini-map, my brain was like, that's not real. Sure wish I could have a night off. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah, I'm taking the Tommy gun. Dude, I'm not even sorry. If it gets loud, you know. A shotgun's a shotgun, but I, I don't get the Tommy gun every quest. Every mission ain't that fun. I gotta use it when I get it. Like the bolt action rifle, I haven't seen that thing since the brothel. Ooh, there's a card over here. Collectible. What we got? Super science. Alright, pal. I'm getting tired of crouching. 
Is that another one? Oh, don't turn around right now. Don't do it, don't do it. I sure wish I could have a night off. I sure, I sure wish you guys had more than one line. Salvatore! Where are you? Oh, We're clear. Slight. Tommy! I hear! Tommy! <laughs> what? Over here. Oh, is there a dog? Where the hell did he go? Sound like he was over here. Guy's a pain in the ass. Up, oh. dude. This guy's whispering. Defies logic. What? You meet me at the door? Oh, what? I hear. This guy. This guy. Shoot you for that. Same tipo tosto, eh? What? Okay, buddy. I assume. Oh. Kind of luck, picker, are you? What? Da Vinci, Caravaggio. Painting. I capito. Painting? You're saying it's behind the painting? Si, si. Okay, I understand. Non quello. Guess we got another room to check. I see a collectible. Don't care about the rest of this. Oh, it's probably in There's this room. One. What we got? Empire Bay mob boss murdered. Car bomb. <laughs> that'd be a <laughs> that'd be a surprise for. Ooh, speak of the devil. The rifle. Only wall behind here. No. They said it was on the first floor, so. You're chill, right? Who are you? Ma'am! Ma'am! There's one. Stay I... out of our way and you won't get hurt. Should I knock her out? I guess they said in the off. Can I like sneak? Can I like just put her down? No? Oh, there's a health kit here. That's a good sign. Dude. This is where I'd put the office. Shut up. Repent. America will not. Okay. Prohibition stuff. Whoopsies. Got a little excited there. Don't mind that. Fine. I'll look behind it, but it's not the office. <laughs> non quello. How did you know? All right, we'll check the right side. Kitchen, dining room, working closet, bathroom, plant. I guess this would be a billiards room, dude. What? Whoa. Am I getting punked here? I swear to god, they said first floor. Don't mind that. Yeah, no. No. Oh. Dude. What do you want? Yeah, that one room with the pool table is the closest thing I would say to an office. Let me fully run around every room. Oh. See, I feel like this room. I already looked behind you. I don't know. What, we go up a floor? 
What other choice do I have? There's not even rooms up here. There's one. Check the balcony. I'm not liking. supposed to be at the movies? Did he not bring his wife? Girlfriend? Mistress? Dude. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, I swear he said first floor, but if I missed a room on the first floor, I don't know, I'd be mystified. Okay, if it's not in here, it's not anywhere. Jesus. Um, why don't you see if you can be a testimony, witnesses, I'll cover it, mutual friend, Salieri. Okay. He's just talking. He's asking him if he'll be a witness. Hmm, a cutscene. Ah, bravo. Uh, uh, scusa. Sure. Show me what you can do. Shit. Be quick, Salvatore. Pacenza, pacenza. <laughs> nice work, excuse me. Ah, cura! And I call it out all alarm! What? Inzapolato! Doesn't matter, come on, we need to get out of here! You gotta get the document. Vai dietro, dietro! They gotta be upstairs! The safe's in his study! Anybody else? No? Alright, just the one. Move! I'm the security. Get over here now! You can't hit me. Come on. Give me your cute little head. I'll get you through the window. Alright, let's make this a little quicker. Oh, I didn't reload. Whoopsies. It's way over there. Come on. Not here. Jeez. Dog, I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm having a rough time of it. <laughs> a little shotgun buddy all right it's like rock paper scissors Salvatore stay back I'll deal with him over here Ugh. Well, there goes all that ammo. Set him on fire. No, no. <laughs> I saw what happened last time that thing hit me. Hey. He told me when to jump him. Okay, I gotta... Uh... Oh, I kinda wanna go heal. Alright, we gotta go, I guess. 
I should take that car, huh? Don't mind me, guys. Yeah, I don't like how low our health is. Don't mind me. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, that just obliterated. Shut up. Dude. Yeah, I just destroyed our car right there. Alright, whatever. This is such like a long drive down. There's no way they keep up with me through it. Guys, don't do this to me. Yeah, see, they're all going to the house. He's gone. Go back to patrols. Ah, grazie Dio. Salvatore, where do I take you now? Home. Yeah, where home? Uh, six uh, and uh, my ball. Okay, let's go. My ball. <laughs> They're actually gonna have me drive him home. Alright, this seems like something they'd normally skip over. Whatever, well, buddy, we both did very good at our jobs tonight. Yeah, back in the day, safe cracking could just be like that. You just listen real good. Hear the sweet spot. I don't know, I guess if you ask like lockpick lawyer, it's not too much harder now. Just need that single sided jiggler. Alright, let's get you out of here, buddy. Both. <laughs> Threaded the needle, gentlemen. Dude, if you played where cops care about speed laws, like, I could get why you would want to skip non essential driving. That's, like, tough enough as is, but. I couldn't imagine actually listening to stop signs and trying to decipher the right of way in this world. Almost just knocked into a cop. Tony, devo dirti una cosa. Al nostro prossimo lavoro penso io alla casa forte. Hai capito? Ci ho quasi rimesso la pelle in quella villa ed è tutta colpa tua. E impara almeno un po' di italiano. Per rispetto della nostra patria. Uh, è come parlare al mio cane, lo so. Ma Cristo, dovevo dirlo. Non farlo mai più. Mai più. Ok, ok. Uh, sure. <laughs> I can only he imagine he said, Don't tell him. You set off the alarm. I don't know, the only two words I got out of that were like, safe and house. I know at one point he said, pardon my Italian, I think. Alright, buddy. Back across to the old country for you. Night. Visiting rich people. Damn, still 1933. This is the last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for ten years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. You heard him. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss, any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. 
At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah, and you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. <laughs> they got a bar and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south. And he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm. And he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tip? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries, and I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy? He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last beam pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab ass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. Dude, we get to go with Carlo. Don't, down, boss. don't make me regret giving you some time out there in the streets with the guys, Carlo. You don't have to worry about me. I know I don't. Tommy does that for me. I'll keep your driver safe, boss. On the Fortuna, boys. Sam and little Bill said to meet him downtown. Oh, we get Sam too. Man, this is a health kit here. All right. Hey, Carlo. You look kind of like you shake yourself. Ah, get bent. Big moment, huh? Finally running with the pack. Listen, I spend more time with a Don than all of you've put together. Sure. Sure. Sat out on the road waiting till he's finished with his broad. <laughs> <laughs> he reacts to me honking at him. That's come. awesome. I won't. It's fine. Boss doesn't have to know. Nah, you're coming. The boss said you're coming. Just, you got a face like you're being taken for an errand. I don't want Gates thinking we're frails. Why is Gates sell on Morello winning this? First time Gates pulled in with his trucks, Morello decided to change up the terms. The big guy himself popped him in the nose as part of their renegotiation. His nose is going to get more in a pop if Morello hears we're involved. That's why we're pretending to stick him up. Then he'll go back to his pop and tell a sob story about being robbed at gunpoint. He'll convince his old man that Morello can't protect the merchandise. They'll need to find a new buyer out here, and he's heard of a stand-up guy named Salieri. This plan is some bullshit, Tom. Polly told it to me yesterday, and somehow it's gotten worse. <laughs> hey, when you get a lead for the boss, and you don't just drive him places, then, then you get to pick holes. Till then, shut your damn mouth. Ah, uh, whatever helps you sleep. When Morello tracks you down, don't come crying to me. You serious? You're actually serious. Fellas, knock it off. Christ. Hey, Polly's got a point, man. If you don't got a better plan, you might as well suck it up and deal with this one. Cause yeah, Morello's drying us up. Oh my gosh, they actually move over for me. Is it because I have a nice car now? Ooh. Don't worry, boys. Smooth sailing. Um, I don't think you're on the... You're on the line. 
So this guy just stopped for no reason. Ain't no sign there. We got the right of way. What, are we gonna walk up? It's a parking garage. I do a lot of deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much dough. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. Oh god, I hate this. 13.1 feet. Probably said 13 and This seems inch, clear so far. Only people with cars are people with jobs. Nine to five, no. place is deserted. This is 13.1. Well, we that kind of a job, sure. Kind of a job. I mean, yeah. I don't think this is on your tax form. They're gonna Al Capone Anything else we need boys. to know about Gates Bowie? Only that he's got a bust up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Fun fact, Al Capone is the reason you have expiration dates on your milk. Park up over there. Look it up. Oh. Holly. We ain't parking straight. Good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well... I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy! I get poisoned for the homies. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more runs. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we are always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. Whoa, damn it, Paulie! Uh, no, no! It's okay. Oh, what? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Uh, don't <laughs> worry, pal. All the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> Watch out! Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's just standing there. Thank God, nobody of any importance is dead. That dude. Is dead. How the hell did they know about this? Because you always shoot your mouth off. Gates took a bullet. Get her out. Shotgun. I think we stick with this. This ain't as bad as it looks. Now take the booze and get. My guys will come for me. Go, go, go! So long as you guys clear him out up ahead, I'll be safe here with the little guy. Carlo, in the cab with me. You know you stead. Tommy, check for more of them. This thing ain't over. Come on, hey, we get out. to keep little Bill. Or he gets to take little Bill. Clear. We got more of them! Get over here now! Alright, this is a pistol. See, sometimes we're good. Sometimes we're not. It's a paradox. I wish I had some form of Molotov like object. That was rough. How about you don't pull the truck around the corner yet? I didn't land that shot, somebody stole my kill. Alright, somebody out here had a Tommy for me. Somebody's got a Tommy for Tommy. Yeah, there's another one. Ooh, 71 bullets. What? Our guy ran right past that dude. Yeah, what what are you doing? Paul. Oh god. 
You're not supposed to go ahead of me. Just gotta make sure they're dead. Holy shit. Holy shit. They really like to eat up those bullets before they die. How do you even get in here? I guess he went in before. It's in the first wave. He was hiding. Terror tiles. I think that gate would still be hot. Let's go, boys. I love how the shotgun guys always just walk. They just like slowly strafe across. Oh. I picked up grenades, right? Yeah. Oh, those, I picked up the actual grenades. I need more ammo. She said I can't believe I lived through that. Buddy, this is like Tommy's 10th gunfight. Ooh, my suit is crisp tonight. Oh, what? You're gonna make me drive now? Grab a okay. set of wheels and watch my back. Sure, Sam. Why'd you, why'd you make that face, Paul? Yeah, it's weird to call him Paul. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beavers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. I knew it! We got more guys on us! Okay, let's slow him down some. Get him where it hurts! Buddy, I got six shots and I'm shooting. I got seven shots and I'm shooting. Oh! It doesn't let me just reload. Yeah, we're not doing that. We'll, we'll leave that to Polly. See ya. Another motor coming after the bull's truck. Remember that one time it made me actually aim and shoot? Yeah, that was wild. Jesus, why are they so How are they so much faster than me? <laughs> what was going on there? Alright, whatever. That was dumb. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beavers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. I hate you. I actually hate you. I knew it! They we deserve got a shot. Guys on us. Okay, let's slow them down some. Hit them where it hurts! Alright, we'll do this one card at a time. Okay, this is where we lost him last time. Morello sent more guys after us! Another motor coming after the bull's truck! Oh my god. Dude. That dude's fine. Guys, can't you see I'm shooting the bad guys? Oh, I 
<laughs> We're just wrecking this little sh shanty town looking thing. Sticks are rough out here. Shooting backwards is no go. Oh god, the truck's like at half health too. More like 30%. That thing's got some handling though, I want that car. I think we lost them all. Thank Christ for that. Let's head home. See what we got. We got the booze. I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but we got the booze. Yeah. Though tonight, me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. I guess we earned that much. Oh, I didn't. I didn't prepare for this. Okay. <laughs> he was just sitting here for like half an hour. Looks like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Uh, he took a slug to the shoulder. But uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo! Saludo! Salute. The great deal. That was. Oh my god, we probably got like two more in us. Ooh. So this is five years later. Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Woken up to it, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. Oh, that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything except peddling dope. By 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Paulie had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Celieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Wait. Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off on another, trying to goose the take. But once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. It was a missing piece. How's that? Morello was always winding us up. But he never did anything that might start an all-out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales. Because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. Okay. Tommy has a kid now, though. ...with his face and pasted it <laughs> hey, on his face. Tommy! Oh, hey, boss. What's going on? I'm glad you're here. There you go, boss. I'm going to Pepe's for lunch, but Carl called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. 
I'm already starving. You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. Ooh! Look at this baby. Oh god, I hope so I don't knock done? this thing up. Hey, you know how it is. It's good. Sure, I know the business. I see the books every day. But since what happened, happened, I know that a capo needs to talk to his soldiers without some other guy getting in the way. I guess we're mixing with a better sort of person now. And I like dealing with all these big shots we got on the pad. Anything's better than those grifters trying to shift their hooch before the 21st went through. Ah, this is only the start of it, Tom. I got plans. Plenty of good people lining up for a slice. Glad to hear it. Dude. So yeah, this is five years after Tommy joined up. And it's three years before his meeting with the cop. But I guess this is probably the peak of the Sally Yeri. Must be nice for you. Some time away from Polly and his cockamamie schemes. Well, that's better conversation, boss. I'll give you that. <laughs> sure I am. Me, Sam, and Polly, though. We're still real tight. We've been through some times together. Yeah, don't I know it. I put you through them. Buddy, get out of the road. <laughs> Dude literally just walked out and said, no. Nah. Alright, but I guess it's good right now. Sam's running a club. I hope Polly finds a girl. Sam's kind of a playboy, but you know. Tommy's Tommy married Sarah. He's got a daughter now. Things are looking up. The only stoplight in all of Lost Heaven. Dude, this car handles so nice. Or maybe I'm just being more careful because it's Celieri's. It's the Dons. I have been looking forward to this all week. Where will you taste the cassata, Tom? Oh. Oh, more wine. Hey, more wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a... Don Don Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother. She would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellent. Bravo, bravo. Oh, Danny. Oh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? See, please. <laughs> and to drink, a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, bene, bene, bene. Bean, bean, bean. Enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the roof, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you? No. I put her up to it. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. Damn. <laughs> uh, for you? And for you. <laughs> Peppy, the meal is a masterpiece as always. 
Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with a joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> What the hell? Morello! Bastard could have at least let me finish my wine. Their mags last forever. Mine lasts like eight seconds. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Smoke them out, Joe. Oh. Shit, watch out! At least my car is okay. Fast enough. Oh, we're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. Tom, just be quick about it. Quick as can be. Oh my god. There's a collectible in here. I'm sorry. There's something in here. The way the mini map works is kind of hard. Be back here. Do it. One shot per rotation. I broke the rule. All right, now we heal. Now we, now we, now we heal. And the ammo. Okay, two birds. Who's got a gun? Who's got? Holy shit! I'm sorry, Don. I'm sorry, Don. I didn't mean to swear. He he genuinely scared me. You're not a person. You're a corpse now. Give me the Tommy, give me the Tommy. No, my car. I know I did a little bit of that, but it's still bad. Boss, it's clear. Oh no, I need the ammo. Look at the balls on this kid. You really saved my ass, Tom. We gotta go, boss. The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. Do it in the car. Well, let me get you back to the bar. No, not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he calls in sick. He set you up. <sighs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlo's shacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. <laughs> Turns out Carlo was actually sick. Step on it, Tom. Every minute Carlo's still breathing is a minute that's got me pissed. Sure, boss. Can't believe these bastards had the brass balls to wreck my car. That's had to be Carlo, didn't it? His pop was tight with Morello right when we started out. Apple don't fall far from the tree, huh? I wept at his funeral. At his sons, I'll be laughing loud. His mom's already a widow, Tom, and now he's gonna make her lonely till the day she dies. <laughs> For what? Some go to buy his dope? And my foot through his face. Yeah. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad this happened. I get to plug another rat, and we finally go to the mattresses with Morello. Today's the day that damn breaks. Sure feels like it. Yeah, Carlo you take a guy came with in, us last time. You give time. him a place in your family. You give him respect. And this, this is how he repays you? If he's done this, what else has he squealed on? 
the farm, the betting house, the ambush at the parking garage, any of them could have been him. That's a good point. Jesus Christ, someone's been ratting us out to Morello for years. And the time we work it out is when his guys come this close to bumping me off. Damn, Carlo's been in it since day one. Well, maybe. I, for his sake. Boss, why don't you let me go first, huh? Carlo might be waiting for us. No, Tom, my face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. <laughs> what the fuck? You goddamn dirty grifter. You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed <laughs> casket, Carlo. <laughs> You okay, Buzz? Oh, yeah, just a little one. Let me catch my breath. Jesus, ah! he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away! Why'd you not just... Oh, I guess you want... You want Salieri to do it. Help me, someone! Come back here, Carlo! Run! <laughs> what are you doing, Tommy? What is this light jog? Is this the run? No, what the? What are you doing? I'm not sure. No. It is going to be a close no, casket. Sure. Nobody wants to see that. That that image right there went so hard. Hey Sergio, how are you? Keeping out of trouble? Sure. Who's this? Wait a minute. Is that Gordy? It is. Hey Gordy, how you doing, buddy? Hotly recognized you. What'd he do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah. That's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well. He did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. Is that all right with you? Of course. Yeah. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. God damn it! What happened? I don't know yet. Crew we sent is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. Stop your crying. Can't have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. <sighs> so the yeah, army must have figured color was the right. God damn it. <laughs> Even hear myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to shut the fuck up! We've been at war since Kill Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Who? Make your rounds. Tell little boys to keep their eyes peeled and their powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just, uh, keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello.
Like a fucking watermelon. Still 1935. Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war thumb. From today we are at war. I missed the dialogue. Dang. Oh, I think we're going upstairs today. Dude, this game looks so nice. Haven't seen any trouble just yet. Dang, no more going to Vinny for the tools, huh? Always gotta check the room. There's usually a little hint as to what today's plan is. Nothing. Alright. Hey, it's true that Don slipped Carla the bump, not you? Yeah. It wasn't pretty. Still blood in his veins, huh? Lesson Carlos. <laughs> Carlos. Even out of trouble, I hope. Carlos got less veins now. Fine. Our guy's in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first we have to soften him up. Merle's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off. So we need to scare them into abandoning Morella's sinking ship. We bump off the right idiot. The rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole. Galati. The counselor's still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ. That guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. He's pulling out all the stops. Booths, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just did normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellas are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay. I'll talk my way to the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore. Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there, and I'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Born a Fortuna, Tom. Dude, I love the characters and the story so much in this game. God, let me get that collectible. It's up here. This is like our first big hit. Can we talk to Ralphie at all? But Vinny told me I gotta stay around the bar for my own sister's safety. Oh. I mean, he's right. Kind of want to take that one. Let's see what we got in the shop, though. Might take out old Carmel. The horse. I think I'm gonna take this one. I wish we got Morello's car, or uh, Salieri's car. I guess it's the same year. car. 
this is part of our series looking back over the president's plans and results since his inauguration. Our responsibility is to all of the people in this country. This is a great national crusade. A crusade to destroy false idols, which is an enemy of the human spirit generated by this depression. Our attack upon these enemies must be without stint and without discrimination. No sectional, no political distinctions can be permitted. It must, however, be recognized, and I know you will thread it. recognize it, that when an enterprise of this I'm that dude. That I don't even care. That was slick. Counties throughout the nation, there may be a case. Find Sam. No problemo. I'd love to listen to the president, but the plot Attention, is folks. thickening. No doubt my mind. Dun dun dun, sailing. Four hours before the speech even starts. You got me. You got me messed up. You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. The sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. <sighs> look at that. Oof, to whom may concern and write a reference. I was warned by an associate of potential threat. I'll be bringing my own security. Your crew will not be admitted to the bar area. Alright. They just got a tip. <coughs> Something's going down today. Ooh, Morello. Hey, he's getting a nice suit. Why'd you flush? Like, like I guess you could have gone to the bathroom. There's still a dude in there. Just because he is a bad guy does not mean he is a bad guy, yes? No, you'd get a real job someday. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, you find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech. Pop him when he's done. And how do I get away? Bali's borrowed a speed bump. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come soon as we've seen him. You better be there on time. Don't. Oh. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Looking good, Tom. The outfit don't get messed up. Keep it. Suits ya. I'm gonna get my say, my first picture on the dot on the job. <laughs> you the new guy? Christ, you took your time. Oh, it was his first day. Think he's gonna pull this off? You sure as shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. You don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. My boys. My shooters. Ooh. <laughs> hey, you almost done? Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean toilets? <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag there. Check every deck. Don't I know you from someplace? Nah, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the Union, maybe? 
Sorry, buddy, I'm from out of town. Listen, shipmate, go someplace else. Okay, let's be a dick about it. La da dee, la da do, la da dum. Pew pew pew. Nah, he's not in there. They said the. I think they said it was at the front of the ship. Whatever, we gotta go down a floor. Janitor? Seen the janitor any place? Nah. Uh, if I had to put money on it, drunk in the engine room. Hmm. He's a man with connections. Who is she? Where else Where did you meet her? How do you know someone who dresses like that? Ooh. But he got caught in the act. Is that a health kit? That's a good sign. Ah, you took your time. Tommy, right? I hid the gun in the john on the stern. Mid deck. Where's stern? Next floor up. Right above us. Uh, keys on the table there. You ever say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, I, I get that. Mm. I just gotta open the door. It's got the sign. Oh, door. Oh, wrong bathroom. Oh. Oh, I guess it's at the back. I do know you. Yo, with Salieri. What are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you a beat for starters. Where you left all. Oh no, am I gonna push him into it? Put him in the blender. Um. Didn't even land a hit on me. Good thing he was waiting right there instead of telling anyone. I feel like it's more conspicuous the sink's running. Where the fuck are you? I probably would have checked there before I checked in the tank. Ooh, scenic shot. Really reflecting on what I'm about to do. To a man trying to get revenge because his son was murdered. Even though his son was a gangster douche. Ooh, that is pretty. Alright. Alright. No more reflecting. It's a collectible, I can see it. How do I get out there? If only there was a way. The door broke the barrel. No. Hey, see this dime detective is that oh, God, this is just <laughs> This is an arena setup. I bet there's like an ammo box up here too somewhere. Yeah, there will be. They don't have a person up here, this is like the spot to have someone. Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me, huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> hey, thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Hey, welcome to my little party, right? Party. <laughs> so. As you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son, Billy, left us. 
an innocent pawn in a deadly gang war, a victim of the deceased that is organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday and for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh? I'm waiting. So do I, I run now, huh? The door's on that side. These are the freaking waiters. Bro, it is not worth the paycheck. I don't know what they're telling you, but it is not worth it. Dude. I swear there was a guy in here. I guess I should grab a gun, huh? What do you guys got? Pistols. Alright, everybody only has pistols. Fine, we gotta go. Where I go? This way? Out the window? But where do I actually go? Oh my god, I'm so sorry guys. I'm so sorry everyone, I have such a small brain. See, there's somebody with a gun. Sometimes you gotta hit him with a little razzle dazzle. Sorry buddy, I got the Tommy. Tommy with the Tommy might lose. Alright, we got a sliver of health. If anybody jumps us, you're... I'm so sorry if I hit anyone right there. Yeah, though. No, no. There's a guy right there. Oh my god. It was because I went for the Tommy gun. Happy birthday. Ooh. It was worth it for the loading screen change. <laughs> Alright, whatever. That was dumb. Tommy just gets melted. I'll go like 20 guys, no damage, and then one guy just takes the whole bar. <laughs> Dang, come on, let me... Oh, I guess I didn't have my guardian angel. We're still gonna take this now. Oh, see, the door wasn't open the first time. Oh my gosh. Tommy just shoot that left handed? Am I crazy? Oh. I'm a I'm a chronic reloader, I will be honest. My brain goes, ooh, I have a second free. I should reload. Okay, whatever. We know there's going to be nobody right here, but there's somebody on the corner. There. We got him with, like, the first... <laughs> Anybody? Anybody? No? Oh, are we going to jump off this? Like, a... No, we're not. <laughs> I'm living through an action movie. It is not worth your life, guy. Tommy, it's us. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was the enemy yelling at me. <laughs> Beautiful scene. Happy birthday.
I'm trying to do. They're going for Morello's brother, Sergio. Sergio. Whew. That was cool. Could be worse, huh? We could be peeling you off the front of the train. He just got a good break, is all. Sergio Morello's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. Well, get him, boss. No, you tore off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and attacks everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car. He'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. It's safe to carry. Hey, just don't drop it. Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morales killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss. Do this game. Just makes smoking look so fun. Just makes it look so chill. Alright, let me get this collectible. I don't even think it's gonna save now that I'm thinking about it. Pepe. Oh, the family. Family. We got Ralphie. Tommy. Polly. Sammy. Frankie. M Salieri. Vinny. Sari, Luigi, Carlo, -y. the whole family. All right, whatever. That's gonna do it for today. Next time we kill Sergio. Let's get let's get our load screen, dude. This goes so hard. Sorry, I screenshotted it. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Whatever. We got the same. I think we got this one like two times ago. But whatever. That's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I'll see you next time. And I hope you have a good one. See ya.